everybody welcome back to Dee's book brain I'm Dee this is my book brain alright so you're looking at the exact same thing in the previous video depending on how they get edited because I'm doing this back to back as I like to do I like to do back to back videos so today we are going to do the August Nightworms unboxing so as you may have remembered I gave up owl crate for this so I'm super stoked full disclosure I have completely already unboxed this and looked at everything inside because I couldn't wait I got it at work so at my lunch my husband went home and he got it for me and so I opened it and I'm so excited uh -huh. first we're gonna go through the bag of goodies because this is actually really cool and the theme was there's a little card in here. Uh, the theme was summer vacation. Summer vacation. It's thundering here. Again, it's always thundering when I get off of work. <laughs> Funny. So summer vacation. So that is the theme we're working with. The first thing they got us was a bottle, a spray bottle of body slash room mist. And it's called Bug Spray, a night worms blend room slash body spray and it's sandalwood vanilla and sweet lemon um i definitely smell the sandalwood not so much the lemon kind of a little bit the vanilla i can already tell you i would not put this on my body but i would definitely put this in a room is it gonna focus get away from my face i can't tell oh well fix it in post <laughs> but yeah this is it's pretty cute i like it i like that it's called bug spray Oh no, it's got fly eyes on it. That's terrifying. Next. So the next things in here. I almost lost something. <laughs> I'm super stoked about. Uh, it is a D composition notebook. Just a little notebook. But it's made from like recycled materials. And to me this is like the perfect size to just like jot little notes down in. And then we have a Horror Writers Association pen. This is a perfect time to be talking about the Nightworms book box. Um, can, I don't know. Is that focusing? I can't. I didn't, how do you focus? How does the camera work? You know what? Don't worry. Just trust me that it says Horror Writers Association. Thanks. And then they have a lot of little, like, paper things. Hello in there. Don't include that. So, the first little thing I can't focus on anything maybe if I hold it back here maybe if I hold it in front of my face why am I so bad at this <sighs> we have a postcard from fat camp um, and it's got a little note from the author on the back so that may be a clue as to what book we're getting stop looking at the screen look at the camera thank you I'll get it one day uh, we have a mm, horror A Horror Writers Association bookmark. Hold it back here so it'll focus. We'll get this focus thing squared away, I promise. Um, and then we have a Horror Writers Association pamphlet. So if you want to, like, teach you about membership and prices and tiers. Um, so that's actually really cool. And one of the things I didn't realize was that you can join this and not be a writer. So if you just want to be like a reader, you can join this. And I think that's pretty cool. Kind of keeps you up to date with, you know, your favorite writers. Um, then we have a, it is a drop card pass. Oh boy, that glare. And it is for the Shock Totem series. But this is a digital pass that will give you a the full subscription digital collection for free to Shock Totem, which I have a feeling is going to play a part in the books. Just kidding, I already know. It is. Um, and then we have another postcard. It says, Grief is a Black House Remains by Andrew Cole. And it just looks like a little preview card, but it is in fact a postcard. So that's really cool. And then this is actually neat. It's the Necronomic dot com necronomicon uh and it looks it's a podcast exploring horror as social commentary so that's really cool check that out i love podcasts i will go from listening to binging books to podcasts 
Uh, music every once in a while plays a part, but usually it's between podcasts and audiobooks. Um, so this will be good to add to my my collection. So now for the books. I was super excited. This is my first Nightworms and everything like I've seen plenty of unboxings of previous Nightworm packages and I have always been so jealous because you know they're either books that I've read or that I want to read and they got them and I didn't. I had to buy them on my own. So now I don't have to. Now I'm getting the books just like everybody else. Uh, so we're going to go in order of excitement for me which really sounds bad now that I've said it out loud so I don't want you to think this first book I'm not excited about it's just a different kind of excitement so don't take it personally okay thanks so we have shock totem curious tales of the macabre and twisted and this is actually volume 10 and from oh that glare oh yeah oh yeah so from what I can tell this is a collection of um it's it's almost like a magazine in book form it's like a collection of short stories but then you have like author interviews and little articles about certain books and it's actually really cool like this one's got a conversation with Paul Tremblay in it which sign me right the heck up he is one of my favorite writers like I have absolutely loved trying to do a video here thunder he is absolutely one of my favorite writers, so the fact that he's got an interview in here is super exciting. That'll honestly probably be the first thing I read in here. Next, we have what I believe is to be like the the popular uh, book in it, and that is The Toll by Sherry Priest. And I'm just going to read this little like header synopsis, and it says, State Road 177 runs along the Suwannee River between Fargo, Georgia and the Okefenokee Swamp. Drive that route from east to west and you'll cross six bridges. Take it from west to east and you might find seven. You better hope not. Oh my gosh. And I love it because I live in Georgia. As y'all might be able to tell from my accent. I live in Georgia. And so just like this like gothic, southern gothic horror bit like it just feels so it feels home it feels like home so you know and I assume every place has urban legends but like every town in Georgia has a bridge a haunted bridge like I remember in high school we parked on a bridge one of those backwood bridges and you put your keys on the hood and then you walk off the bridge and when you come back your keys will be in the ignition <laughs> it's just ridiculous or, or or you'll find handprints on your car it's just so stupid but it's just part of growing up in the south like you just get those stories and of course you do all of them like all the urban legends you try and play them out and they never work but this is uh about <laughs> to digress this is about uh, a couple who crosses that mysterious seventh bridge and the husband wakes up like no idea where he is no memory his wife is missing and he calls the police to let him know like my wife is missing and they're like that bridge does not exist so that's super creepy like I actually might be the most excited about this I have not actually read any of Sherry Priest I know she's got a you know a decent track record in front of her or behind her beside her diagonally uh, but I'm actually super stoked about this one because like I said it's home it's fun I'm excited this is gonna be a good one all right and so the last book I am <laughs> I am super excited about because it just looks like fun and I love fun horror I mean my husband and I disagree we both love horror films we both love them so much but we disagree on what constitutes horror he likes real horror he likes terrifying things like he wants demons and ghosts and all that crap give me a stupid slasher flick any day I want to see teenagers running around screaming their head off getting stabbed with a knife like I love 
stupid slasher flicks. They crack me up. I love them. And to me, like, that is the heart of horror. Like, that is what horror is all about, is the fear of this unbeatable killing machine. You know, replace Freddy Krueger with disease, you know? Like, you can't beat them, but they're always there, and you can't escape. I just love it. I mean, it's such a... It's a cliche and stuff. But anyway, on to the book. So, the book we have is Fat Camp by James Sabata. And just look at this cover. Oh my gosh, this is camp all over. I mean, obviously it's Fat Camp. But, um, from what I understand, this is about a... It's a slasher book that takes place on a fat camp. And, and I feel like this is going to have a lot more heart to it. Because um, it's, uh, it's, you know, a coming-of-age tale cleverly disguised as a slasher film in paperback form. <sighs> it's just so fun. And I, honestly, this cover, I don't even, you can Google, Google it. You can Google it, Amazon it. This cover is so cute to me. Like, it's just so cute. Oh, and it came with a signed book plate, which I have already inserted. There we go. Um, but I am super excited about this book. This is going to be such a cute book. Honestly, between these two, like, I don't know which one I want to start first, but probably Fat Camp. Uh, but yeah, that is everything that came in the August Nightworms box. I'm super stoked. I honestly think I did a good thing changing from Owl Crate to this. Nothing's wrong with Owl Crate. I love it so much. I'm gonna miss the heck out of it, but my tastes have changed. My tastes are always changing, but horror is something that has always been a solid favorite of mine, and this is the first horror box subscription. <sighs> Zeus! No, wait. Thor! I don't know. Somebody up there. Uh, but this is the first time I've seen a horror box subscription that like gets it. That like gets horror. You know what I mean? Uh, so many times these box companies are like, oh it's a horror box. No, it's a mystery thriller box. That's clearly not the same thing. But this, they get it. And so I'm really excited and I can't wait to like continue my journey with them. Um, Alright, that's all I have. I really hope this thunder is getting picked up by the microphone. Otherwise, I'm going to look insane. Because I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'll probably look insane anyway. All right, so that's it for this video. Cannot wait to see you again. Um, tell me if you like this. Tell me if you don't like it. I am always here for constructive criticism, unless it is about my cats. In which case, don't at me. I love my girls so much. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Goodbye!